Nine CRPF personnel were injured when the bus they were traveling met with an accident near the Upai Indoor Pujo in Upper Subansari bus bound was carrying 19 CRPF personnel. Doimu Police Station OC said that the accident occurred may be due to the steering lock. The injured personnel were given first aid nearby ITBP Camp Hospital at Digdo. 16 years after 125-year-old Burmese Teak Assembly Building was destroyed by a raging fire, the state will once again have its own assembly building, the construction of which is likely to commence from the next month at New Shillong Township in the Mao Diang Diang. Assembly Speaker Abu Teher Mondal informed that a high-power committee of Meghalaya Assembly on Monday, informing that a total number of seven companies participated in the tendering process. Assembly Speaker said that a total number of three companies have been shortlisted for the financial bid based on the technical value of the public work department. Taking note on the grievances faced by the public after Aadhaar was made mandatory for various governmental and non-governmental agencies, the NACNK on Sunday resolved to ban enforcement of Aadhaar in Naga-inhabited territories with immediate effect. In this regard, NACNK MIP in a press statement has directed all Aadhaar registration agents to immediately close down the registration centers and cease their activities. It also asked the common public to refuse registration. Taking a dig at the present Congress regime in the state of Mizoram, Mizo National Front Youth President MLA Lalring Wama said that the reason for the spat of resignation by the state leaders from the Congress party was due to a rampant corruption and that this is the first time in the history of the state that such a mass resignation has taken place and said that there is no government which is as corrupt as the ongoing Congress-led government. If MNF voted to power, alcohol will be banned and legislations of the wine selling will be ceased. Manipur Opposition Leader and former Chief Minister for 15 years Okram Ibobi Singh and other senior Congress leader are upbeat that six party MLAs who have joined the ruling BJP are left holding empty sack. The six leaders have denied ministerial births and most of them are likely to return to the party. Anticipating such a development, the Congress did not approach the Speaker Y. Kim Chan with a disqualification petition against him.